Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, here is Van Amsen and today we have an intriguing problem at hand, finding the key weakest row in a matrix. So it's a fantastic problem to uh, hone your Python skill and get your head around multiple approaches like sorting, heaps and even binary search. So stick around uh, with me to the end and I promise you uh, I will walk you uh, through uh, Three approaches. So the problem asks us to find the key weakest row uh, in a given two-dimensional matrix and each row in this matrix represents a row of a uh, soldier and A1 denotes a soldier and A0 denotes no soldier. So the rows are sorted meaning all the ones appear before the zeros. Our task is to find the key weakest row in terms of number of uh, soldiers. So let's dive right in. Uh, so uh, first approach uh, will be sorting. So first up, uh, sorting approach. And the idea is quite straightforward. So we uh, calculate uh, the strange number of uh, soldiers of each row and per this strength with the index of row. And so uh, this pairs first by the strength, then by uh, index. All right, so let's uh, go coding. So uh, I will implement it live. So row uh, strength, uh, sum row i for i row in enumerate matrix and row strength sort key lambda x x0 x1 and finally return row 1 for row in row strength up to uh, key. So uh, as simple as this, let's uh, run it. Uh, so just three line of course. So and yeah, all uh, looks good and we passed at the uh, test cases. Awesome. So now uh, let's submit it just to verify everything's work perfect. So as you can see, yeah, it's working. So I think I have uh, yeah even 90 something milliseconds for this approach. Uh, but yeah, we beat 94% uh, with respect to memory and yeah, so as you can see, it's changing. So here we beat uh, 94, but it's 16.6 .6 megabytes. And here, 16.8 uh, between eight, but instead uh, 61 uh, with respect to runtime. So my best, I think was 98% or something. So now let's uh, yeah clear it and dive to second approach. So second approach uh, we can implement is minimum heap. And uh, so now let's use a minimum heap. And heap are great for problem uh, where you need to keep track of the smallest or largest element. And we calculate the strength of each row, push this strength into a heap, but with a twist. We negate both the strength and the index. And this way uh, we make sure the strongest uh, row are at the top and can be easily uh, removed. So uh, heap will be heap and for i row in enumerate matrix strength sum row and heap heap push heap minus strength minus index and if If len of hip greater than key, then hip q hip pop of hip and return minus i for i in hip reverse true. Uh, okay, so as simple as this. Uh, so let's run it uh, to see if it's working. So yeah. Uh, this one is a bit more complex, but uh, a neat trick to have uh, in your coding arsenal as well. So we can also yeah, 
submitted for and synthesis cases so probably it will pass but we can observe how fast so uh, as you can see now uh, beating 80 percent 102 milliseconds so basically uh, all approaches i are quite uh, the same with respect to milliseconds uh yeah second one beating uh 70% with respect to memory and 81 almost uh, with respect to runtime. Okay, so this was second approach. And yeah, what could be the first approach? So first approach will be binary search uh, and heap. So uh, last but not least, uh, let's mix binary search with a heap. And why binary search? Because each row is uh, sorted. So if we observe, so uh, each row is sorted and it's quite uh, useful information. And because uh, of this, we can find the number of solder more efficiently using binary search. Uh, obviously it's a short example, but if we have a uh, much uh, larger, so here constraint are just uh, an M100, but yeah, it's good trick as well. So, and then we use a heap to keep track of these uh, counts. So let's, implement it as well. So binary search, array, and here we use classic binary search. So left, right, zero, len array, minus one, and while left less than right, mid will be left plus right, modulo two without remainder. So uh, yeah, it's integer division. Array middle one, uh, left middle plus one, and else, else will be right and middle minus one, and return left. So as you can see, this part is exactly a classic binary search, and Q will be binary search row index and for index row in enumerate matrix heap heapify q and finally return index for index in heap smallest qq okay uh, i hope i didn't make any typo uh, so let's check and yep yeah, all perfect so uh, we can also submit it to see how it pass probably. Yeah, so this one is probably the slowest. So in this case, binary search maybe is not the optimal approach. We can even uh, rerun, but it's really nice uh, trick. Yeah, so uh, to use binary search with information that uh, some parts of arrays are uh, sorted. So beating yeah, 55, so mainly all uh, 107, 102, and 104, so quite similar. And there we have it, three different approaches to solve the same problem. So uh, each with its unique flavor. Uh, so I think like uh, this one was the hardest and sorting was uh, the easiest one, so really straightforward. Uh, all right, so let's wrap up for today. And we have uh, dissected three different ways to solve the key weakest row in a matrix problem. So I hope you found it uh, insightful and check the video description to code in other languages like Rust, uh, C++, Go, and much more. And if you enjoyed this session, please uh, hit the like button and uh, consider subscribing for more coding uh, adventure, tutorial challenges, machine learning, tech, and much more. And don't forget to, yeah, ring the bell if you uh, subscribe. And until next time, most importantly, keep practicing, stay motivated, and happy coding.